are going live here at the U.S. Rowing Convention with Coach Kaler, Bob Kaler, with the the company name is just it's Kaler Core. Kaler Core, yes. C O R E, right? Yeah. So we we were talking to him today, uh, yesterday, and uh, he's got an amazing machine for core development. But first of all, I'm Charlotte Pierce. I'm your producer for uh, rowing. Row USA, part of the Rowing Chat Network, and we are pleased to be a media partner of the U.S. Rowing Convention. We we've had a terrific time here. It's the last day. A uh, couple of our correspondents went out on the boathouse, rock the row, boathouse row. Did you go on that? <laughs> I did not. It's like after your day of this, you know, what do you do? I, like, I was pitching all, till seven fifteen. I left here. There was nobody in the room except yeah, me. From, yeah. From five to seven, I pitched seven. Customers. Seven customers. <laughs> they came after their, their educational stuff. So yeah. when I was done, I'm like going home well, and going to sleep. Like the heat in here. It's yeah, like, super hot. Yeah. I mean, it's like hot yeah. core work. <laughs> right, right. So, like, and I'm doing all this physical, yeah. you know, demonstration. So it was definitely, it was noticeably I know, hot. I yes, I agree. And uh, so tell us a little bit about like how you got into this business. Yeah. And like, I mean, I was stunned when I read your bio. You've done a lot of uh, your Olympic. Rower. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, so I've been a human performance nut since I was like nine years mm -hmm. old. I used to go run with my dad when I was nine, just for Gatorade. You know, that was back in the seventies, and I just liked that green looking drink. So just um, to, I just wanted the Gatorade. <laughs> I, had, I had to run to do it. So my my dad was like a, a runner back in the seventies. Yeah. So, so I, you know, I've always had the proclivity for it, and mm -hmm. uh, and then so when I got, uh, I was a chem major in college, wrote at Rutgers, didn't have a great career. I tried to do I under twenty three, and then got injured uh, mm -hmm. after the 88 Olympic trials, which I did not make a uh, construction accident. And so I decided to get into physical therapy because I got rehab by one of the guys on the yeah. beach patrol squad. So, so long story and short, I fell into physical therapy, human performance from that end. And, um, and you know, you knew that you liked rowing. That you yeah, I was totally passionate. Yeah. About it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. In high school, you know, just looking at US Rowing magazines, I was looking at the national team guys. I'm like, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. In high school, I'm like, I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. So and, they have and, a little different structure for recruiting. Yeah. Back then, it was there was no yeah it was no yeah um, no internet. There was yeah. like you had to just figure know, it out. Right? right. Yeah. Steve Hargis was on yesterday. He was talking about the Olympic Development Program that they've got going here. It's yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool, it's uh, changed process. a lot. Yeah. It's evolved, They're getting. Yeah. You know their their method for getting young people into the sport. But, so yeah, I run into a lot of. I mean, I'm a masters rower at community rowing in Boston, and I run into a lot of. Um, you know, people with back problems. And big, yeah, it's a big core one. is like the thing, the the body part we love to hate. Yeah. I mean, what? How do you? What got you kind of interested? Well, so like I, I became a physical therapist in 91, graduated yeah. Columbia. A month later, I was on my first national team, mm -hmm. rowing in the quad at World Champs in Vienna. Mm -hmm. uh, and along the way, so those 10 years from 91 to 2000, I was not only a world-class rower, won a bunch of world championships in the eight and did a bunch of Olympics. I also saw the wake of injuries that were happening as we went along. So mm -hmm. I just started asking better questions about like, why are we doing this type of training? Why isn't it working? Why are so many people still hurt? If, even though we're doing all this strength training, traditional strength yeah. training. Um, and then uh, I, I just, that evolved into like lots of questions, took tons yeah. of courses, PT courses on movement mm -hmm. development, movement disorders, and just built this column core training system out. I became a strength and conditioning specialist in 97, mm -hmm. which is, you know, that's the kind of the, the, the gold standard in pro teams and college teams. You have to have that that strength conditioning degree, but I also started noticing that that wasn't solving the, yeah. you know, solving the injury problem. You still have all these injuries, you do all the strength training. And so like, I was just trying to figure out a way to tie it all together so you could do all those things and get hurt. You could strength train, you could row, you could run, whatever and you, whatever you want to do and not have to worry about, about your back being a, a limiting factor in your performance. Yeah. And so, and, the, and so core work, there's two types of core work moving back core work, which is what pretty much everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. And then there's what I teach, this column core. It's actually creating this new internal map on how to control your spine system so you can optimize what your arms and legs do. So it's That's what I teach. Sit-ups or like Pilates where they They roll the back and move it. So you're yeah. doing what I call survival movement. That's nature's mm -hmm. creation to survive. You move your spine with your extremities to generate force. 
it works until it doesn't. Yeah. You get hurt and then you're trying to do things to get out. And, and on a lot of times I've been a PT for 29 years also. So I've seen thousands of back clients, the, the, the moving your back to mm-hmm. as a corrective process w- and when it, and that's how you got injured is, you know, counterintuitive to, to my thinking. So what I do is I try to the athlete a new map so yeah. they can start to learn actually how to control their spine as a calm one piece. And when I talk about the spine, I mean from the Adam's apple to the tailbone, so you basically have 20 vertebrae. Yeah. That, that then there's thousands of muscles that can move and intricately change the position of your spine. But that's really designed as a survival system. It's not yeah. a thrive system. It's not a 24 yeah. seven system. It's there for emergencies, but we use it as a daily operating system. Well, now most of the coaches are, you know, they're teaching this, you know, straight back, you don't, it was I opposed guess. to the. You look at the cover of a US Run magazine this month. Uh, the backs uh, are her. You showed me that, yeah. I was like, what I don't the know. heck? I don't really know. I, mean, I, I don't know. Maybe. I'm sure it happens to me in braces. Yeah. You know, I probably, you know, I'm not always yeah. focusing on that technique. Well, you but, know, and, and so, in all fairness, wrong is yeah. an extremely hard sport because yeah. you have a seat in the way that blocks yeah. your hips being able to move. So you have to have even better control. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't just get away with, like, you know, you're doing some curl up abs where you're doing like rolling spine things and mm-hmm. or just clanking in itself yeah. a lot of times they're not so um, what uh what are some do you have some like anecdotes about people that you've worked with who've transformed a, an injury into strength and, and gone on from that yeah i mean i've i've worked with in my consulting business yeah. so i see private clients people that haven't gotten better at doing traditional pt yeah so so an example that and i've done i have I've done about 3,000 athletes in the, ten, the past 10 yeah. years. Do you work with Olympic athletes? Oh, yeah. Olympic yeah. athletes, I, I've done NFL guys. I've done wow. you know, Division one. So, so You must see some different body yeah, types. Yeah, like, and I do yeah. track and field people. Like, yeah. human movement is human movement. This, yeah. I just teach how to change the way you move. So yeah. you can apply it to anything you do, not just rowing. But but in a story, a, a typical example of, of mm-hmm. client I see. So one of my – I do – seminar so i teach mm-hmm. coaches just the concepts not how to apply it but like so they can open their minds to a different way to move yeah. one of my customers from narragansett mm-hmm. and one of the coaches he had a, a, a it was a junior in high school nine months of pt no better had was on his third epidural shot by the time he came to me so epidural? three epidural Ep- shots at 16, 16? which I, is almost unethical in my opinion uh, i'm not a, i'm not a i'm a pt not a yeah. doctor but i just think that, that that's yeah you're, you're looking up you know you're looking up the wrong tree when you're getting on your third epidural mm. shot and the kid's not better. So anyway, I saw him in February of his junior year. By June, he was not only completely better, he was pe- he peered on the air enough to get into Yale. And wow. he rode all four years at Yale. He bought one, his dad bought him one of my column core machines yeah. to keep training on his own. And so he's good now. So he's, he's continuing with that. He's out, he's out now. I mean, this is, this was like, but he continued the, yeah. the, He's using it now. He that, follows yeah. my Instagram account. I have to he's, come over and use that. He, I, he a, gets it. Like so, yeah. when you start to build this new map, so yeah. it just in an essence, you your default system your whole life is you move your back to the extremities, and you don't you're not even aware that that's how you're operating. You yeah. you know, so your body is actually in control of your mind. So survival. That's a survival system. Mm-hmm. And t- until you change who's in control, you're going to keep doing the same default movements. Yeah. And that's what people do, and they do all this hard training, but they are actually making their their they're stressing their back greater as they move up the food chain of have, training. Do you, so do you, you give them like little things to do in the boat uh, after, you no. know, the, you, no, I actually, I teach holistic control yeah. on the ground and you can apply it to anything you yeah, do. So yeah. this is a movement. I'm just teaching them okay. how to actually control their spine system and what muscles need to be activated. So yeah. they do it. The, the survival way, then I show them the comical way. They're two different exercises. And it's you, the same movement, two different exercises, do, two different Do you see bodies. them translating that into? I make them feel it internally. Yeah. Uh, so see. once they feel it, I'm mm-hmm. building a new map, and then it's like riding a bike. Mm-hmm. They know how to do it. So that 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 patient, that, that kid I was talking about, I saw him one time for three hours. Wow. That's that's all it takes. So how once about I, older people? Same thing. No, I've done yeah. thou- I've done probably almost yeah. a thousand masters athletes. You know, so those people have other issues. They got they wake up with a stiff sore back. That's yeah. evidence of a moving back system. You should never have a stiff sore back. That's yeah. evidence that you move your back a thousand times a day before and it might be stiff or sore when you wake up. Well I did right? I threw mine out before the head of the Charles last year because I was trying right. to keep up with these old ladies in my yoga class. Yeah. <laughs> you know but that's my back is pretty pretty strong. But I I've seen videos of myself just yeah. you know doing that kind of you know you just kind of fall into that. Yeah, so it's because it's your default. You've been yeah. doing it your whole life. Yeah. And so it works until it doesn't. Mm-hmm. And then when you get hurt, then you're you're trying to recover from something yeah. that's continuing to move your day. So if I had a fracture in my arm and I don't cast it and I keep yeah. moving it, that's the moving back system. Right. 
I'm just teaching how to cast it so it heals. Yeah. And then it puts all the work back out into the extremities. So the extremities do 100% of the movement. And this is, becomes wow. a stabilizing foundation instead of every moving. I'm and somebody straight or just listening. Yeah, so, so, so and, and so the truth is, you can still move your spine yeah. if you want to yeah. some of the time, mm -hmm. but that shouldn't be your twenty four seven system. Yeah. That's an emergency system that nature like creates. If you so need you to did. bend over and pick up a pencil. No, so this, <laughs> the system was designed like you're on the ground, a saber tooth tiger is coming at you. <laughs> you get up and you sprint and you run up the tree and you get out of the way. That's what that system is really designed for. It's not your twenty four seven system. Yeah, and so nature doesn't care about your yeah. back quality. You right. know, a thousand years ago, you'd have been dead by the time mm -hmm. you're 20, so it didn't matter. But but we want we want longevity. We yeah. want to do things like row. You have to have this control if you want to optimize what you're doing. So do you have like uh, like entry program or where can people find information? Like if they wanted to try it and see if it was right for them. You mean the machine yeah. itself? The machine yeah, or so, your yes. program? Right. So like I so in my current model, people will come to me after yeah. they don't get better doing what they're doing. So these okay. are people that are kind of in a more in a, yeah. just frustrated with chronic back pain. They, they either think it's a condition of the activity they're doing. Yeah. So, so back injuries are not a condition of the activity you're doing. It's a condition of how you use your spine. Mm -hmm. And that's with all sports because I've done all these different athletes. Sure. It's not the activity you're doing. It's how you control your spine that causes your problem. And people blame it on weightlifting, rowing, running, cycling. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> So if you're training progressively over time, you yeah. should never get hurt. Yeah, that's but the truth of the matter. So when you lift weights and you're doing things, you get hurt. You're actually you're, so there's four muscles that are not influenced by this, whether the spine moves or not. That's the quads, glutes, low back, and lats. Mm -hmm. Those always work whether your back's moving or not. The, all the other muscles are are reliant on spine control if you want them to optimize. So what ends up happening is yeah. your back overworks, and these muscles, those other muscles, get off the hook, and then they're weak and they're underserved. So when I test somebody. When I evaluate them, when I do this. Do you have to see them process. in person? Or well, if you, you want to get learn this internal map, yes. But so do some, you do remote as well? well so people will get on my machine alone without. Yeah. The, I have like videos and progressions, sure, and, and okay. they just get on and it starts. So the, the machine starts to do what I need them to do automatically, yeah. whether they know it or not. It's happening. I got to come over and try right? it. So I appreciate that. the hands-on is more intimate okay. because I'm actually I'm actually lining their spine up with my hands. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing this for 29 years and, yeah. and this system for, for over 20 years so i know how to get you lit up so i can complete all the circuits and your extremities do all the work so do you have some rowing clubs around the country that are using it yeah tons. yeah, yeah. Tons i mean yeah so i'm not getting all the clients community rowing you know as yeah people. they do and like i mean is it minneapolis seattle yeah like i've done work with masters clubs I've, yeah. i'll go out if they have enough customers like i've done columbus Growing and, and there should be a coach there that Marin knows I've gone to. Um, it helps, yeah. So, yeah. like, I need somebody on the inside of a club to understand what I do to pitch it to the club members yeah. because you know it's a, it's a different concept. Sure. And yeah. and you know the machine just evolved out of my hands-on process, the hands-on column core system I've been doing for over twenty years. Wow, yeah. The machine evolved out of that. Okay. I was just looking for a way to great to, to to you know scale it so I can mm -hmm. get more people better. Well, like we were talking yesterday, you know, I think just back issues. Yeah. You can save someone's life, really. Totally. Like I have a woman yeah. that was I saw in Philly was a soccer player, not yeah. not two micro in her twenties. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw her twenty years later. She's in her early forties. Mm -hmm. Can't move. Chronic back pain. Wants to run. You know, still kind of fit, but has a three year old daughter now. Yeah. And and so she said, I don't even know why I'm coming to see you. And I said, Well, because so I'm going to show you something you never Ooh. learned before. Because she's a PT never worked for me in the past. And I said, It's not that PTs good or better and different. Yeah. I said, but you were just learning more of what you did. The PT you were doing was you were moving your back while you're moving your stomach to do your, your exercise. Uh -huh. So you're just reinforcing what got you hurt in the first place. Did you get her straightened out? In two sessions, I saw her twice, back oh, pain was yeah. completely gone. And then she bought one of my machines. And nine months out, she's yeah. now, she's moved to Colorado. So she wanted one of my, the, the Kayla core, Kayla core machines nice. to keep, yeah. keep, just keep doing it. Cool. So, but it turns out her dad, I started in Philly in 92 as a PT. Her dad was the spine top spine surgeon in philly for 30 years back surgeon yeah couldn't get his own daughter better oh we completely he limited. yeah he actually wanted to meet me because he was like this is crazy you know because he was he was saying look you're gonna probably need a fusion down the road you're gonna yeah. have a little chronic back pain and she's completely pain free so that's an example of that just like the other kid in high school i was trying to get the, i'm gonna get a little video up here and then we should probably let you head back to your table but um let me see if I can get it. Okay, wait a second. I need to kill that again and try again. Because it's uh, is there audio on these videos? Uh, my videos on my website? Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, some. There's yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
that would be important. Yeah, like I have YouTube videos where there's some are talking, mm -hmm. some are just demonstrating exercise movements. Mm -hmm. So I like I you know, so when a customer buys a product, there's a there's a series of starter videos and so I'm talking about, you know, the basics of how to use the machine if right. I'm not gonna see them. So here we are and where do we find some of these uh, the the videos? There's you. Are there some Yeah, there's videos on um I think on the if you go on the blog page maybe uh -huh. you know and then I have a YouTube channel if you go to my oh my, here's one my coach Kaler yeah one? oh yeah this is just like me this is my son Paul vaults now so like I'm I'm learning how to oh be a Paul, a Paul vaulting dad is he so. super tall yeah he's tall he's got super wow. long wings man and uh, isn't that fun to see that like yeah yeah it's, over the it's amazing just learning like I've yeah. learned so much in the last he's been doing it for six months learning just differences in sports you yeah know? here's me talking about hey, concord control game. okay so people can get a sense of yeah like that, it just yeah. you know and then i have like other exercises so like, yeah. i'm slowly building up uh here's me doing exercises so you know because i'm a time efficiency nut that's my that's how my mind works yeah, that's how i built that's how i built my system it's if like you can overlap stuff it's right. really good so like i literally spend 10 minutes yeah. i spend 10 minutes on my machine four or five days a week mm -hmm. that's all i need to do i haven't mm -hmm. talked to wait in 12 years and i don't need to because i'm in i'm in in perfect shape i can go run whenever i want to i'm never going to get hurt See, doing I those get, things i get uh, bursitis you know if, uh, if i walk or hike or yeah, so what happens is you because you use your back as a moving worker you know, all the flexor muscles in your legs are going to be weak because mm -hmm. i've tested three thousand athletes and they're all they're always weak you so you use your default movement back system to, to do your movement and so you're not actually you're actually overworking your back and then these other those other muscles that aren't attached to the spine yeah. that we talked about that are influenced are the but ones they, that are weak like, and you don't even know it you don't have no idea how to use the pattern because you don't have perspective because no like i row and i don't have any problems yeah i row all season yeah so then i stop and yeah. i go uh, for a four-hour hike and my knees are screaming and my yeah like my bursitis is sort of like so is that a, yeah something I you're can using that you're using you're using survival movement um, muscle activation while I'm walking, yeah, while so I'm that's hiking. why it hurts and so when you go back and learn how to keep your back like calm all those muscles that you are under serve will become powerful and that'll go away okay I'll unless you have bone on bone arthritis which I don't know but no, I but, have osteopenia or something that's just bone right, density it's, it's yeah. just bone that's density, bone density. Yes. that has nothing to do with this no, this no. is like you're no, actually I'm super strong back I never like yeah. I never have the problems with other people do, so except if I do try yeah and well compete. so rowing is gonna do you know your back your, your paraspinal muscles yeah. are right on the spine so yeah. rowers have very strong back paraspinal so those, yeah. remember those are the muscles I, I talked about yeah. that are always on it's the other muscles what are you doing to, to protect your spine on the other side to keep it stable okay. that's the things that don't that you're not doing necessarily you may be yeah I've tested I don't 000, so. I've, <laughs> tested, I've tested 3,000 athletes in the the Evidence of using the moving back system is you have all these. I'm gonna come over I, when we wrap up here. I'm gonna come yeah. over and you're gonna yeah, yeah. tell me yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, like yeah. my goal is just to is to, it's 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 spine health. Yeah. Learning spine control, creating a new map for the user so they can go out and do whatever they want and and start to build confidence. And, and you're not gonna get hurt if you do this if you stay oh, on the system. Oh, that's so good system. to know because the body is yeah. a miracle. It is know? totally if you yeah, if like, you operate it in out of survival mode. So just to just to go back, like when you're in survival mode, you're body's running your mind mm -hmm. your body's doing the default survival yeah, yeah. system all we're doing all i'm doing mm -hmm. is teaching the user it's to take their mind and put it back in control and start to pay yeah. attention and then everything unfolds on us so well, we put the we put the frontal cortex back in charge not the old you know limbic system which is like you know you're just survival mode you're just trying to get out of the way and your your back the saber quality does not matter <laughs> your back your, your survival brain does not care about the My quality of your chasing you down the right. court. but listen bob yeah. we are so grateful to, yeah. to have you here and um i appreciate you having me on so it's no, good that we met here at the, yeah, at the conference the, the, and, and have you had a good good conference? awesome i was yeah. busy yeah I yeah you, a lot of people. you guys still got a throat i'm mind blowing yeah it. well i learned i've done yeah. enough of these 40 things and, and right. so i still learn how to talk with you we're going to um wrap up here and we're going to also run a, a little uh, wrap up session with our correspondent brenda later so uh, stay tuned we're live on facebook linkedin and uh and youtube and then we'll be on your audio podcast apps later so thank you bob Th thanks You're so much Charlotte, for having me that was awesome i'm that gonna come really over fun. and uh get <laughs> i'm gonna my, get you going now we're gonna my, <laughs> Let me tune up your abs right now. Okay. <laughs> I know I'll go home sore. <laughs> you will. That's the truth. Oh, I 